Hello everyone. Today we will learn how to solve second order differential equations with MATLAB. Now the MATLAB utilizes all D45 to solve your second order equation. Uh, we have uh, three attributes in it: OD function, T span, and a Y naught. OD function. This we have to write your MATLAB function to solve our equation. Then second we have T span. This tells you your uh, the beginning time and the end time. And uh, with the third is why not? This is your uh, initial condition. We have to define our uh, uh, initial condition, the values of variable at the beginning of uh, time. So these three things are required to solve your uh, differential equation. Now, second thing uh, that needs to be taken care of is that uh, the MATLAB does not directly solve your second order equation. You have to first convert your second order equation into a first order equation. Right now, to solve your second order equation into, or to convert your second order equation into first order equation, we have to use some uh, appropriate variables. Uh, similarly, we can solve our third order equation or a fourth order equation by converting uh, your equations into lower orders. Now, we will take an example of this particular second order equation. Uh, we have uh, d square sigma max by d square t plus t sigma max by dt times 2 times omega times z plus omega square times sigma max equals to d square z by d square t. Here this equation is used to find out uh, sigma max which is basically a spinal compression. You know we have spine bone used to find uh, the compression of it uh, during uh, the seat ejection of our uh, uh, pilots in the from the fighter planes. The task is to find the value of sigma max. Here uh, the two, you know, is, this is constant. Omega is constant. Z is constant. Now omega is constant again. Omega square will be constant. D square Z by D square T. This is also a constant for a particular uh, equation. Now let first convert your uh, second order thing into a first order thing. Let us consider a variable D sigma max by D T equal to S one. Then uh, D square sigma max by D square T will become uh, ds1 by dt and uh, sigma max at t equal to 0 is 0 your spinal compression that is at the beginning of time is 0 and then the s1 which is a rate of change of uh, this at the beginning of time it's also 0 then our initial condition will become uh, 0 0 now omega is constant having this value z is constant having this value and d square t is equal to value of 1 uh, we transfer all this thing to the right side of the equation and this is having a value of uh, 1 then the, this equation will become 1 minus 2.3699 times s1 2.3699 is comes from this 2 multiply by omega multiply by z and 2398.41 comes from omega square value then we have directly multiplied sigma max which is as it is and of course one we have corresponds to this d square by d square t now we have to define our uh, function to solve our uh, ordinary differential equation so now uh, we have f well the output we have to define it in a column vector form now we have uh, that is a column vector the first column first uh, row element is s1 then the second row first column is acceleration minus this comes from the uh, the equation which we have explained on the previous slide this is your uh, d square sigma max by dt and uh, this is your d sigma max by dt and acceleration is constant this is we have how we have defined variable explained on the previous slide now ordinarily we have defined this function we will refer this function to the our uh, equation now clc we have defined this function explained on the previous slide we have t span this is corresponds to this then we have the initial condition which corresponds to this okay then uh, we will solve our equation once the solution is obtained we will plot our figure and uh, with this following uh, attributes now after finding out the value of uh, sigma max we have find out tri DRI uh, is omega square multiplied by sigma max by g. Sigma max was found out from the differential equation at uh, at time. 
and then we have uh, plugged in into this equation we have plotted the result of dri with respect to time so this look like somewhat this thank you